Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing Brass Birmingham. Brass Birmingham is the sequel to uh, Brass, which is a Martin Wallace game. Um, some people would say it's probably his best game. Um, I, I think it's a very enjoyable game. I like it. Um, but yeah, this is the sequel, so it's a little bit different, but if you know how to play Brass, you know how to play Brass Birmingham. So this is the digital adaptation. Um, I think it's really good. Um, I'll show you around the game. So we have the settings, not too much here. You just have your language. You can pick the day or night board. So in the physical board game, you can actually flip the board over into day or night. I'm not sure if there's any mechanical differences there other than the artwork. The game is very dark in coloring, so even the, the day board's kind of dark, so I kind of prefer that one. Uh, of course, you have the music and sound. I have the music turned off uh, because of copyright reasons. I'm not sure if the music is copyrighted, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. So it is a little quiet right now. Uh, we do have online and two tutorials. The two tutorial does a decent job teaching you the game. It's one of those two tutorials where you know, the first half of the game, it's kind of holding your hand and then it kind of lets you loose on the second half. And it's like, finish the game and hopefully you win. I, I like that. I like the tutorials that do that. It lets you kind of apply what you learn and not constantly be told exactly what to do. Um, this game is a game where you're not going to know what you're doing the first time you play it. And it's going to take a couple games for you to kind of really figure out what's happening because there's a lot going on. So we're going to do a custom game uh, while we kind of do a quick little overview slash review of this game. Uh, I think I'm going to do three player because I think brass is kind of best with with, uh, you know, three or more. You can play it with two. I think this new version might be balanced a little bit better um, with two. But I think we'll do three and we can kind of skip the computer's turns. It's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a new game. So uh, this is the game I already kind of had started. So I'm going to go ahead and do three. We're going to do three easies or three hards. I, I usually do hard on this channel. Um, but since we learned when you have multiple AIs in these types of games, uh, it's always better to do a blending of difficulties and not have them all be hard because all the hards will kind of pick, take the optimal move and it gets kind of boring where medium I think has some like randomness in there and easy is like what's going on. So we'll do a medium and a hard. Uh, I'll be this guy with the hat and we're going to do an introductory game. And the reason we're going to do that is because that's only the first half of the game. So the, there's two halves. There's the canal era and then after the canal era, there is the train era. Um, and after both errors are complete, that's when the game's over. Um, but I think to do a good teaching game for the channel, and since this is a, a fairly long game, um, I think for the channel, we'll go ahead and do the introductory one. That way it's a little bit shorter. And then if I get at least 10 or more likes on this video, no matter when it is, it could be a year from now, it could be two years from now. I know this channel is small, uh, but it probably won't. It'll probably be, pretty, probably be fairly quick. I will do a full stream of this game. So just know that that game will probably be over an hour, uh, an over hour long video, but I will do it if you guys deem it necessary. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna do the introductory game. And I, I kind of had this there while I was talking. So hopefully you saw what they do. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, you only play through the canal era, and so it's gonna be a little bit quicker game, but I think it's gonna help you understand what's going on instead of watching an hour long video and never really knowing. Um, so yes, I'm gonna overwrite the old game. I think you can only have one game going at a time, which is kind of sad for a di digital game, but whatevs. All right, so. I'll kind of explain what's going on once it's my turn. Because the computer... Uh... Okay, so now it's my turn. So this is the turn order. Uh, this changes, and I, um, and I think it's based on the amount of money that you spend on your turn. 
Uh, you have a couple different things that you can do. You can build, take the build action um, that allows you to build industries on the map. And I'll tell you how we do that. You can also uh, expand your network by building canals in the canal era and trains in the train era. You can also develop, which allows you to kind of, you know, uh, make better buildings. And we'll, we'll talk about that. You can sell. So as you build industries, you can sell those goods to various markets. Um, you can take a loan, which is actually in, in the original version of Brass, and I think a little bit on this one. Um, it's actually beneficial to take a loan kind of early in the game. Um, you do lose points, so you basically like trade victory points for money. Um, but the, the odds are is that 30 bucks is going to get you uh, more points in the long run. So it's, you know, a lot of people will, will take a couple loans early in the game. I'm not sure about the shorter game. It might not be a good viable option. Um, and then obviously you can replace cards in your hand and then pass. Um, why are these cards important? So the cards are how you interact with the map. Every action requires you to discard a card. And that's the awesome thing about Brass is it's actually a hand management game. It's not just a board game. It's hand man management. It's a card game, essentially. Um, so if you have a city name like this one, it allows you to build that industry in that city. So this is... Um, and when I'm in the build action, it would actually zoom in to, to what these are. But this is, um, you know, you can build in this city. This one is just a industry card, which you can use it to build that industry in one of your connected regions. So let's say I'm in tip, tip work, team worth, whatever this is, uh, some British city name. Um, you know, I could, I could, if I had something, if I started here and I have something here and I have a canal, I could build something here with a card that's like one of these industries. Um, so yeah, these are all there. That's how you build um, industry. It's a, really about you know, having enough. Um, I don't think you need iron in the canal age, but like enough resources and um, development is also kind of cool. Let's cancel that. Uh, so these are kind of what I have to build right now, and they're all level one. Um, they're not worth that many victory points, but if I develop and get into level two, level three, then these are actually worth more victory points at the end of the game. And so I kind of want to slowly uh, either build them, right? So that helps you upgrade because you're taking them off the same pile. Uh, you either want to build them or you want to develop them where you don't have to spend the resources to build, but you do have to pay the iron to kind of research and, and kind of deplete the stacks a little bit. So it's it's kind of important. Um, and then selling your goods, obviously, you, you sell to any of these connected trading cities. So if I have a network of canals, or I can even use my opponent's canals, so it just needs to be connected, uh, I could then sell. The one rub in this game is that you always need beer to sell. So breweries become very important. And if you don't have a brewery, you can't sell your resource. There's a couple other weird things that I don't really want to go into too much detail right now. But uh, like when you build things that require iron, you need to have it on the map or you got to buy it from here, from the from the public market. And then you uh, also when you build iron uh, or forges or ironworks, they call it. Uh, you actually sell back to the market, so then you actually get this money, you know, immediately. It's kind of weird. And then uh, in the old game, you had, you know, when you you needed coal, you needed to be able to connect it in your network. I don't think you have to do that in this one. So I think they made this new addition a little bit easier to understand. Um, and then here's your income track, and that's what I'm talking about. How like victory points um, kind of dictate uh, these are victory points, uh, and also your income level. Uh, how much income you get per turn, and and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'm sure I know it's a complex game. Play the tutorial if you buy it. This is just for you to check it out and see if you like it. All right. So I think early in the game, you definitely want to you know be able to build. Like so, our computer compadre uh, built here, um, because they can sell it here. So this market right now is demanding. Um, what is that? Is that the cotton mill? Yeah, the cotton mill. So they are demanding cotton. They're like, please give us cotton. This is just some goods. Uh, really nothing here. And uh, this is they want anything. And then this one is they want some pottery. So pottery is actually kind of a hot item right now. 
Um, do I have anything that would allow me to build anywhere close to where they want some pottery? Um, I do right here, Stoke. So I can build here. All right, so let's go to the build phase. Um, it's saying that I can't build that. Uh, oh, maybe because I don't have enough resources. Where's my money? Okay, yeah, I don't have a lot of money. Um, yeah, why is it saying I can't? I can't build there. I thought I'd be able to build this pottery. Wait, hang on. Is there a way to zoom in on these cards? I thought there was last time I played. So I can only build a cotton mill or a manufacturer, it's saying. Well, if I'm going to do that, um, I think I want to, I think I'd rather buy an ironworks, honestly. But I won't be able to do that until I get something on the map. All right. Um, I have a lot of purple city cards, so maybe I should just kind of go down here. Um, yeah, so we'll go and build the cotton mill because they want cotton. And we'll use a Birmingham card. Bump. All right, so see, my money went down. And that only cost money. So that's the cost of my items here. All right. Normally, I thought you'd normally take two actions, but maybe in this game, since it's the introductory one, maybe you only take one, or maybe the first round's only one. I can't remember. All right, so they're building the ironworks. So now, see, they're going to immediately sell back to the market, and now that is an industry that's going to score them points at the end of this game, or normally at the end of this round. All right, so um, this kind of sucks. This is where the this is where the game they took a loan. Um, this is where the game gets kind of interesting because I would love to build a canal. Oh, I could build a canal here and then get immediately get to there and then sell. I don't know if I have enough money. I do. I bear. I just have enough money. Um, breweries are, are great. I already have something built in Birmingham, so I'm going to go ahead and discard that guy. Dropping down a canal. And then now I can take another action, and I'm going to do the sell action. And I think I'll do... I'll get rid of that guy. And I'll sell the cotton. And I got I used the beer. So normally you have to, you have to use beer on the map. Uh, but I ended up just using beer on the uh, on the on the trade spot, and then, you know. But that's it. Now everyone need to build more beer. Um, I think I'm gonna sell this iron, or not sell it, but upgrade it. Say I can, that's my bonus for using that beer or using the beer that was there as I get to develop a building. So now I can build a better iron mine. All right, so what are they doing? And we do have the option to skip to my turn. Uh, so I spent less money than blue, so now I'm second. So that's how that works. I don't have a lot of money, but I think I want to try to build more resources. Oh, look, see, they're, they're doing what I wanted to do. Build the pottery. All right. Is there anything else that I can build? Um, iron is not really that exciting to me right now. Um, it would be nice to be able to to kind of here. I think in the first round you can only have one industry per uh, city. So right now I, I am cotton in the in the full game. Winter in the railroad era. Yeah, you can have two industries, I believe, in each city. 
Um, this game's so complex. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I know I'm not wrong with the only one in the first round, but maybe it's more than one, two in the second, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like it definitely builds some coal. The demand for coal is not that high, um, but I also, that would use up all my money, and I feel like I'm probably going to need to do a loan. Is there something better that I would want to spend my money on? Probably. Um, I could do another canal. I'm trying to think if I could do another canal. It would be nice to do a brewery, but I don't see a brewery that I can build on. Oh, right here. Why can't? Oh, because breweries cost da, 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 iron, and I would need to spend the five plus one, six. I don't have it. So you know what? Let's cancel. Let's get a loan. Um, this one is kind of far away. I'm kind of building right here. Oh, that's pretty close to me. Um, I do have two breweries. Uh, do I need, do I have any pottery? I do have a pottery, but nothing really wants pottery way down here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the pot. This, this game is so hard. Uh, all right, yeah, take it. All right, so now I should be able to build. Um, why can't I build? Oh, cause it's not connected to my network. That's why. No. Oh yeah, that's why. So I have. These are cities that I have. But yeah, but why can't I? Shouldn't I be able to build that? Where's the iron at? Coal. Yeah, I have plenty of money. I should be able to buy that. All right, so. Not enough coal. But the, it's here, unless I need to be connected to a network to, to buy it, to buy it from the market. Oh, yeah. So this, this, let's kind of review this game real quick. Right now, I, I would love to have a rule book, and I don't have the rule book. So devs, if you're listening to this, um, please give me a rule book. I would love to be able to, like, reference the rules right now and just figure out if coal is the... I think coal is the resource that you need to be connected. Um so yeah that that's that's what's going on so that's still in this game i thought they removed it from this version from birmingham i remember it being in the original brass so yeah that's it's still going on um all right so for me to be able to build this iron which i'm i'm assuming iron is going to get uh you know a lot of demand I can basically build a canal here or here. Yeah, maybe I'll do it here because this, yeah, eventually this, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a canal. Um, I'm thinking, do I get rid of this? I have that city card. I have this city card. I can build one iron and be fine. It'd be nice to buy two. Oh, but I got Dudley and I can build another iron there if I need it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. I have other ways to build iron mines. Or iron, <laughs> iron works, iron mines. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. And now I'll be able to get coal. See, I, I play this game many times and even to this day i feel like i'm always just learning it and playing it for the first time it is such a hard game uh so thanks for sticking around if you're still here uh please like this video comment subscribe and maybe i'll do a full game of this it's you know it's not the most exciting game it's kind of a dry you know what they would call a euro um but i really do enjoy it it's it's a game that i i would love to play in real life um, but unfortunately I can't because it's such a deep game, uh, that, uh, it would be kind of hard, hard to teach somebody. 
Ooh, do I do the brewery? Mmm, hang on, let's think. Do people have things? Okay, so this guy definitely would love to be able to trade that. He could use it. This guy would, oh no, why hasn't that guy traded that? That's weird, computer. What are you doing? You could trade that right now. Interesting. Um, this guy could definitely, oh, this guy wants a good, hmm. Yeah, you know, I was going to build iron because I was like, oh, we're building iron. But I feel like maybe I would be better off building a, uh, yeah, this gives me income too. Yeah, so I'm going to build, I'm going to keep the brewery spot open. But I'm going to build manufactured good so i'm gonna build i don't know what the manufactured goods are paper plates okay so now i gotta buy two pay two money to buy that one little bit of coal and then i'm going to immediately sell because i think that's a good idea I, I don't know i mean this game this game's tough i don't know if this is viable all right so there we go i gained some income I sell my goods. So I'm going to get some victory points for that. Say victory points three, income five, and end the turn. I think I'm doing okay. I mean, I have 10 points to their zero. I, I have no idea. This game is so hard. But I love it. It's like one of those games where you, you, just, you just love, you know, doing the activity because it's such an interesting game and there's like so many little moving parts going on you don't you know you're just like you know it's like you're sitting at a computer and you're just like for the first time of your life like you've never seen a computer before and you're able to like poke and prod and push buttons and like see things happen and then like see the consequences of your actions like you know uh, many, many turns down the road and you're like, oh yeah, okay, five turns ago, I probably shouldn't have did that or I should have did this. Um, so yeah, doing development is actually really good. It, it gets you um, those better buildings a little bit quicker. But it does cost iron. Oh, there they go. See, so now if I if I bought something and sold something, I would use this beer here and it would benefit the red player. So that's how that works. And I don't think beer needs to be connected to your network. I think it just needs to be on the map, just got like iron. All right, so what are we going to do? I feel like I need to build. I probably should have developed. I think there's probably a strategy where it's like you have to develop if you can develop, develop. All right, I think I might build the iron. I could get some money for that. And I would only have one left on it. I don't see a spot where I can build the iron right now though. So I will cancel. We'll build a canal. Um, Do we get rid of leak? Where's leak? Leak's way up there. Yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of these blue cards. We're not, we're not living in Blueville. And we'll do the Dudley. And we will build the iron. I'm from Pittsburgh, that's how you say iron. Iron. All right, we'll buy some coal. We'll sell three, making some money back because we are. Andrew Carnegie here in Pittsburgh. We're selling steel. We'll end the turn. Even though this is not in the U.S. This is in that island. That giant island. You know, I went to London once. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Everyone's kind of uh, chill. 
like America, everyone like says hi and talks to you and is friendly. In London, everyone's friendly, but they're friendly in a different way where they, they don't bug you. They don't talk to you. Barely make eye contact. Um, I thought the food was good too. Everyone always like, oh, you know, England doesn't have good food. I thought the food was fine. You know, if you get the like, you know, the Indian food and but even like the the Sunday what was it Sunday roast was pretty awesome. I think I think all the food's good. All right, so what are we going to do? I feel like we're really gonna own down here. Uh, really, yeah, it seems like we're all kind of owning down here. I think it's because we can all piggyback on each other's canals. Um, yep, yeah, so that went off. We could do more steel. Or, sorry, iron. Got my Pittsburgh brain going. I don't know if we can... Oh, we... I could. I could build... No, I cannot build over top of that. I was going to say, I think in later rounds, if we were playing the full game... I would be able to build on top of older industries. Um, I could do the manufacturing. I don't think there's any beer on. Oh, there is a beer up there. So I could. I could do that. Could I? No free space. Okay, but I could build on top of that. All right. Um, coal's looking pretty good. So I could buy some coal. But I think I might do some manufactured goods and then sell it using that beer. Or should I try to get my own beer? There's a couple more turns left. So I think building some beer would be probably okay. So let's build the beer. We know we or someone else will need it. For some reason, when you make beer, you need iron. And that's not, I mean, two bucks ain't a bad price for iron. And it would be so awesome to be able to build an iron mine right now. Or an iron works. Iron mine. Um, but I'm not going to be able to. And I think it's because I can't get coal anywhere. Um. Where's that Benton? Yeah, no iron. Wolverine, where's that up? No iron. Okay. Um. Yeah, iron's just not is just not in my future. I always like to build and then immediately sell because I want I don't want to get myself stuck. So maybe, man, iron's expensive. I was gonna say maybe I can develop. But I think development um, cost iron. And I don't think I want to do that. Um, well, maybe we do need to build. Oh, we could build more beer. Just beer, beer, beer. Oh, but that's so expensive. Um, do I have a lot of money? I don't have a lot of money. I was going to say I could probably just build a cotton thing, but that's not going to work. Man, everything I do is going to cost three, three money. The beer is cheaper, so it would only cost me eight, eight to do the beer. I know I'm going to need it. Um, so maybe we'll throw some beer in Stanford. Let's just do it. So we'll, we'll be like some brewers just doing beer. It cost me eight. That's fine. End the turn. I don't know if that's going to be good or not, but We'll see. I mean, this game, this game's tough. You know, it's nine rounds. Uh, I think the full game's a little bit more. I think each, each uh, era is nine, I believe. If I had the rule book, devs, please give me the rule book that I can access while I'm playing the game. Um, I would know for certain. All right. 
All right, so they're they're developing. I kind of been kind of I've been building a little bit of everything. I think my development track is okay. Uh, so yeah, I built that. I'm doing level two breweries, level two manufacturing, and whoa, level three iron. So that's good. Uh, one cool thing about this game is if you build a level two um, you know factory when you go to the next era those would stay on the board um, and kind of get you victory points for that next round all level ones get removed from the board so it's actually a benefit early in the game to develop to get to those higher level factories that way you would also have points going into the second round this is a one round game uh, because we're playing that abbreviated version but um, if we weren't you know being able to develop early um, is actually a huge benefit all right so man if i could build an iron mine i would be the best and the happiest person around um, but i can't i don't see iron in my future unfortunately i don't have it there i don't have it there um I was hoping people would, you know, use my beer to deliver. I don't have that much money. Um, but I I guess I could build in build here and then basically sell it immediately. Um, what's cheaper? So I guess this just costs money. This would cost 10, this would cost, this would cost 14 to build the manufacturer good or just 12, which is all of my money, but I could immediately sell. Um, so I think that might be the best bet, honestly. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build a cotton works or cotton mill. Like, it's like, I say, Oh man, it's like iron mine, cotton mill, whatever. All right, let's play that. So now I'm a poor man, but don't worry, I will sell the cotton and I think I'll get rid of leek because they're kind of a weird vegetable and I'll use my own beer. Ta-da! And sell the cotton. Ta-da! I've upgraded my income. And I'll end the turn. And I think I'll be in good shape. I still got some beer. So I got my 10 bucks. Oh, look at that. That lucky, lucky, lucky. Um, so really all I got is beer. Beer, beer, beer. Um, oh, but now this is cheaper. So I could do 10. Darn it. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money at all. So I guess it's saying it's it's wanting me to buy coal, honestly. Uh should have bought oh man. Ah, whatever. I was thinking like I didn't realize that iron needs coal coal. I could have built a coal mine. Is that a coal mine? Yeah, coal mine. Level one I still have though. Um I do have a beer there. I do need money. Yeah, so that's that's what's telling me. I can only build coal, but coal is not worth it. I don't want to do a loan. It's too late to do a loan. Um, let me go to build again. Okay, so I, I could build on top of this, but I won't get victory points unless it's used.
that's basically what that means. So if I built here, I would not get the points. Um, I mean, it would up my income, I guess. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I just don't know if it's like a valid choice. And this isn't connected to anything. It's not like I would be able to use it. Um, so maybe the brewery. Let's see. I have one beer left. One turn left. Yeah, let's do the brewery. We'll do a brewery. Okay. And then I have another action. I think what I'll do... If I put a canal there, I think I'll get points. Yes, I get two victory points based on the number of industries that are connected. So I would get that this would be three more victory points if I put a canal there. How much are canals? Three money. I don't have three money. So I cannot buy. Um, I don't think I can develop. Yep. Um, I don't think I have anything to sell. I could take a loan. I could build. Actually, I can't build. I can't do anything. All right, so there we go. I got two wild cards. Um, so let's see. I mean, that actually might be not a bad idea. I got the beer. Let's go ahead and skip to my turn. Just let me know what everyone else has done. I am poor, but maybe I can build. Look at that. I can build all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I could do iron. Oh, man. I was thinking about doing manufacturing so I can use my beer. Um, do I have any, do I have anywhere I can build a manufacturing good? Not enough money for iron. Okay. Well, let's build a new iron mine. I can build a new iron mine there. Um, do I have one where I'm not going to overwrite my previous iron mine? No, but what is that? That's a level two. I'll be building a level three. I think that's worth it. Um, let's build that. That's the location one. Yep, a dollar for the for the coal. So all that. I got seven bucks. Can I build anywhere else? I could. All right, so we'll go ahead and build the canal that I wanted to build last time. Oh, I can't. Curious, why not? Why can't I build there? Oh, because that's not a canal. Look, there's no water there. That's not a canal. Oh, okay. Um. Well, let's see. I think I could get two victory points for that. Um, this one would give me, well, this would give me more victory points. I'm going to build here. That would be three victory points or two. That's interesting. Why only two? Oh, cause this, yeah. Why only two? Can I cancel that? One, two, three. Hmm. Uh, hang on. That's weird. That's only two. I, I would have assumed that would have been more than two. Uh, 
Uh, is there anywhere else? With the, I mean, that's really the only... I mean, I guess here... How many victory points would this one be? I think this would be two as well. Let's see. Zero. Oh, because none of these are completed. Oh, that's why it's two, because these are the only complete. Okay, so I had the opportunity to get more. That's right. It's buildings that have actually, like, did their duty. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. So we have the opportunity to get three points from that. All right, see so what George does. George is building coal. I mean, I think coal, there's a glutton of coal. Uh, yes, use my iron. Thank you, sir. Everyone's leaving my beer on the table. I guess we have a lot of people that are... It's maybe Prohibition era right now, and people aren't using beer. All right, here we go. End of the canal era. Skip to the results. So here we go. It's doing the scoring for all the canals. So there we go. It's doing it for all of the industries. And now it's doing it for money. And then I think that's it. Oh, yeah, uh, scoring. Yep, I was going to say. It's kind of telling us down here what it's doing. Bonus industries. Right. Whoa, it's going nuts. It's still going nuts. Who won? Oh, Eleanor did. Oh, Eleanor, she beat me. All right, so here it is. Here's the breakdown. Um, so Eleanor got 40. I got 37. And Georgie got 28. Um, Eleanor had way more links. That's it. Interesting. Uh, I was dominating in industry. I was a man of industry. No bonus victory points. Um, so really the only place that I kind of lost, interestingly, is the links. Um, let's click OK. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Eleanor still won. Okay, this is the full score. I was going to say, what? Yeah, okay. Again, this is the introductory abbreviated version. I'm, you know, the, the scoring was a little confusing to me. I'm not, Maybe that was like the canal era. Oh, I get it. That was the scoring for the canal era. era. So I got second place for the canal. And then this is the final endgame scoring. Okay. Yeah, introdu introductory game scoring animation is a little different. So um, I still got second place. Uh, she got first. Um, and again, yeah, it looks like the Lynx, she beat me out on Lynx. Uh, where am I missing nine points, honestly? Uh, I got better into Industries. None of us got the bonus. Um, uh, that's the money, time, you know, each for money. This is an income. This is, yeah, income level. Yeah, where did, oh, I guess the industries. Oh, see, right here. I think this is where I lost the game. I did, I wasn't developing. So level two plus industries, she got way more victory points for me. I, you know, I wasn't doing the development action early in the game. We saw the computer doing it many times during the game. I wasn't. And so that's why I lost because I didn't have enough level twos on the field of play. So there we go. That was my my lapse in the strategy. I really did. I really should develop. Um, I think that's one of the issues that I have in this game is that I don't use that develop action enough. It's just not that exciting. I think I like I like putting things on the map. Um, but I think if I would have done it at least once and got some more level twos out on the field, uh, maybe I would have won and would have beat Eleanor. Interesting. Um, but yeah, pretty fun game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, like I said, this is the abbreviated version of the game. The full game is basically that times two, uh, where you have the trains, the trains, um, you're able to build 
uh, two railroads at a time. So instead of you know building one connection with like you do with the canals, you can actually build two. So the map kind of you know fills out a lot quicker, and you pretty much start using the whole map because you uh, are able to reach things. You know, because one action you can basically build two connections, and now you're reaching out farther. Um, iron becomes more important because I think you need iron to build. Like I think you build the one, and then in each additional one to pay another iron, and then. Um, so that's a little bit different. And I, like I said before, all your level two industries stay on the board from the canal era. Um, so it's a little bit different. The boards already have some things going on. Uh, there's already points there. Um, but yeah, relatively the same. It's like part one, part two. And yeah, this is Brass Birmingham. If you do want to see the full game be played in a long hour long video, just like this video, and I will put it up and I will do it. Um, just probably wouldn't be very optimized for the Google or the YouTube algorithm. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.